9.2 systems of equations. So in your textbook they use systems of equations. I'm going to use matrices. The reason I do matrices and I know a lot of other teachers do this as well is because when you get to university they're going to be using matrices. So if you learn them this year they're much easier to work with than the systems of equations that they do in the textbook I think. It's basically the same operations only it's just a little neater. So the reason you have to learn this section and matrices is because when we do 9.4, which is going to be the intersection of three planes, you will you will have three equations with three unknowns. So the only way for you to solve these is using one of these two methods. So I'm going to explain matrices. I think you'll find them much easier to work with. Um, and basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your matrix. So let's write the matrix out for this first. You understand what I'm talking about. So when you write out a matrix, you write a big bracket like this. And all you do, you have rows this way and columns this way. So my rows are going to be 1, 2, 2, 9. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 2 equals... 9. So you put a line there. So these are your constants. These are going to be your variables. So that's my first row. My second row is going to be 1, 1. And I don't have any z's, so I put 0. You have to have a place for it. And a 1. And the bottom row is going to be 2, 3, minus 1, and 1. Okay, so this is what we call an augmented matrix. I think if you follow any of the Khan Academies, you'll find that they also use matrices like this. Okay, so now what are we going to do? What is the goal here? Your goal is to get your matrix to look like this. You want a 1 with zeros under it. You want a 1 and a 1. So you want this little triangle in the bottom. So you're going to have some numbers here. And you're going to have your three numbers here, like that. So this is your goal. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to apply different operations. You're going to do it in the this order. You're going to get the 1, then the zeros, this 1, this 0, this 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's your operation method. And what you're going to do, just like when you were solving two equations, two unknowns, you multiply by something to eliminate things. Same thing is happening here. So what you are allowed to do is you are allowed to multiply a row by a non-zero constant. Okay, so any number goes. It can be positive or a negative number. You can interchange interchange any row and you might want to do that um, if for instance this was up at the top you would want to get a one here first so just by having one of these equations that has a one you're going to throw that one up to the top so you can interchange any row and you can add you can add a multiple that's a funny word isn't it multiple a multiple of any row to another row So there, there's our objective. This is our objective, and this is how we're going to achieve it. Okay, so we've written out our augmented matrix here. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out how can we get a zero in this position. So if I do this row, so this is going to be row one, row two, row three, just so you know what I'm talking about. So I make this little wiggly sign, which means this is equal to kind of like this one, right? So I'm going to say I'm going to do row two and I'm going to subtract row, row one. And that will give me a zero in this position. So I'm going to write R2 minus R1. A good idea to write these down so that you know what you did. So I don't have to change anything in the first row. It's already done. Row 2 minus row 1, so I'm going to do 1 minus 1 is 0. 
1 minus 2 is minus 1, 0 minus 2 is minus 2, and 1 minus 9 is minus 8. So you need to know your positive and negatives. And we're just going to, well, let's put a 0 here as well. So you can do two operations in one as long as you're, you know, you're not going to get too confused. So I can do um, row 3 minus 2 row 1s. So that's going to give me a 0 here, right? 2 minus 2 of these. So 2 minus 2 is 0. So now I've got, I've got this part that I asked you to get first. That's already done. So now I have 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And minus 1 minus 2 more. Just a minute. Row 3 minus 2 row 1s. So minus 1 minus 4 is going to be minus 5. And 1 minus 18 is going to be minus 17. Okay, so I'm getting there. Now I want a 1 here. So to get a 1 here, I'm going to divide by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1. So I'm just going to say I'm going to do row 2 times negative 1. And you might be able to do more than one operation like I did in this one in, in one go at it. So this is going to be 0, 1, 2, and 8. This is going to be 0 minus 1 minus 5 minus 17. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make this a 0. And I need a 0 here. So how would I get a 0 here? I can just add these two rows together. So I'm going to say row 3 plus row 2. So write out the ones we're not touching. 0, 1, 2, 8. And I'm going to add this row plus this row. So notice that I'm, I don't want to work with this one because then I'll introduce another 1 here. I want to keep this 0 so now I can only work with these two. Okay, so I did 0. I did row 3 plus row 1. 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0. And minus 5, I'm adding 2 to it, gives me minus 3, and minus 17 plus 8 is going to give me minus 9. Okay, I'm almost done, you see, because I only need a 1 here. How would I get a 1? I'll divide by minus 3. So I'm going to do row 3 divided by minus 3, and then I'm going to be done. I can do my back substitution. I'll explain that in one second. I'm sure you understand already. So 0, 1, 2, 8, 0, 0, 1, 3. Okay, so what this tells me is that this, these three planes are going to intersect at a single point. And we'll get more into that when we do 9.4. So remember this was x, this was y, this was z. So I have three equations. The first one is saying z is equal to 3. That's this. Done. I've got one of my coordinates. This row now is saying y plus 2z is equal to 8. And I'm going to substitute in z is 3. So y plus 6 equals 8. And y is equal to 2. So I have my z. I have my y. And to find x, I say x plus 2y's plus 2z's are equal to 9. And my y is 2. So 2 times 2 and 2 times 3. So that's giving me 4 plus 6 is 10. So that means x is going to be negative 1. And there you go. You found a point of intersection of three planes. Isn't that magical? You'll, you'll think it's very magical when you get it right, and you'll think it's not magical at all when you can't get the right answer. Okay, so that's one of them. I'm going to now show you another equation that we're going to solve, and you might want to pause and write this one down so that you too can try it and then come back and see if you got it right. Okay, so here's my matrix, not my matrix, here's my three planes, and I want to write out, first of all, the augmented matrix for this. 
So hopefully you've gone and tried this on your own and you have it written out nicely. Don't forget X, there is no Y's and I have three Z's and that's equal to negative one. Be really careful with the signs. And I have three minus two, one, nine and one, one, four and four. Now, as you can tell, there's going to be many different ways of doing this. I'm going to switch row three and row one so that I have a one in first position. Good idea. Switch row three, row one. So I'm going to put my one, one, four, four up here. And I leave this one, three minus two, one, nine and two, zero, three, minus one. Okay, so the next step is to get this number here to be zero. So I'm going to do row two minus three row ones. Okay, so row two minus three row ones is going to give me, we leave this one, 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 four, four, it's going to give me 0, minus 5, minus 11, and minus 3. And this one, I'm going to do row 3. Um, row 3 minus 2 row 1s. So that'll give me a 0 here. So row 3 minus 2 row 1s. So 2 minus 2 is going to be 0, and 0 minus 2 is minus 2, and 3 minus 8 is minus 5, and minus 1 minus 8 more is minus 9. Okay, so we're moving right along. Now, I want this one, this one here, to be a 1. So I don't want to work with this row because that will introduce a one here. So I want to look at this one. So if I multiply this row by minus three and add it to this one, that will give me a one here, right? Because that will give me six minus five is one. So I'm going to do row two minus three row threes. Move this over so it doesn't go off the page. So I have one. One, four, four. So I'm multiplying this by minus three and adding. So minus five plus six is going to give me a one there. And this is going to give me um, a 15. Minus 11 is going to be four. And this is going to give me 27 minus three is 24. And I'm just going to write this one out here for now. Okay, so now I need a zero here, right? I need a zero. So I'm going to do, am I off the page? No, okay. So I'm going to do, to get a zero here, a zero here, I'm going to multiply this by two and add it. So this would be times two minus two is going to give me zero. So let's, we're going to do, um, row three plus two row twos. Row three plus two row twos. That'll give me zero. Okay, so I write one, one, four, four. Zero, one, four, 24. Zero. Okay, so now here we have to stop for a second. So two plus minus two is zero. And we're doing eight minus five. Eight minus five is going to be three. And 48 minus 9 is going to give me 39. Okay, so everything's looking good. I'm going to now finish this off by doing row 3 divided by 3. And I'm going to leave my 1, 1, 4, 4. And 0, 1, 4, 24, 0, 0, 1, and 13. Okay, so what does that tell me? It says Z is equal to 13. So Y plus 4 times Z is equal to 24. 
So y plus 4 times 13 is 52 is 24. So y is going to be equal to negative 28. Okay, and now I just have the last one to do is solve for x. So I have x plus y plus 4z equals 4, and I plug everything in. So x minus 28 plus 4 times 13 is equal to 4. That's 52 uh, minus 28 is 24. Bring it to the other side. Subtract it, and we get minus 20. Okay, so this one also intersects as a point of intersection. So sometimes you don't get this in the bottom row, and we'll talk about that, like I said. So I get minus 20, minus 28, and 13 is the point of intersection. Now, you can double check your answer by substituting these numbers back into these equations here and see if they're true. So I had x is minus 20, that's going to be minus 40. Minus 40 plus 39 is minus 1, and so on. I'm not going to do all of those for you. Okay, so that's how you can double check your answer. Now the last one we're going to do is this one here. So I have 2x. 2x plus y minus 2z is equal to 4. Okay, so let's write out our matrix first. So I have 2, 1, minus 2, 4. And again, maybe you want to stop the video right now and come back after you've tried it. It's like a, it's kind of like a puzzle, isn't it? It's sort of like a Sudoku puzzle or something. They're actually kind of fun, I think. They're fun. I know you're laughing at me, but I do. I do find it fun. Okay, so hmm, I have this row. I would like this to be at the top. So I'm going to switch these two rows first of all. So I have a one in that prime position at the top. So switch R2, R1. R2 and R1. So that gives me 1, 3, minus 1, and minus 3. And now I have a 2 here, 1, minus 2, and 4, 3, 4, minus 1, and 7. Okay, now remember, what I want to do work with next is this number here. I want a 0 here. So I'm going to do 2 minus 2 row 1s. So row 2 minus 2 row 1. So the first row I'm not changing. And this one I'm going to do minus 2 this. So 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus 6 is minus 5. And minus 2 plus, plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. And the last one, 4 plus 6, is 10. Okay, so can I make a 0 in this position at the same time? Can we do that? So, well, actually, this would be really easy to fix. Let me just write this one out here for now. I know it's good to get my, my 0 here, but look how nice this is. I can divide by minus 5, and I already have a 1 here. So I'm going to do that just because I see that right away. So I'm going to say 1, 3, minus 1. Whoops, that was just supposed to be a line. Minus 3. Let me fix that. Getting too excited here. And 0, I'm going to divide by um, row 2, divided by minus 5. So that's going to give me 1, 0, minus 2. And let's just write this one out here for now. Okay, so now I want to get my 0 here. So I'm going to do row 3 minus 3 row 1s. Row 3 minus 3 row 1s. <clears throat> so 1, 3 minus 1. 
minus 3. 0, 1, 0, minus 2. Okay, now we have to do the math. Row 3, minus 3, row 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 9 is minus 5. And minus 1 plus 3. This is where it gets hard, right? Minus 1 plus 3 is 2. And 7 um, minus 3, row 1. So plus 3 plus 9 is 16. So I have minus 5 to 16. Now I need to get a 0 here. So I'm going to do row 3 plus 5 row 2's. Plus 5 row 2's. And that's going to give me my next little section here. So write out what you've got. Zero, 1, 0, minus 2. And I said I'm going to do row 3 plus 5 row 2. So 1 minus 5 plus 5 is 0. 2 plus 0 is going to be 2. And the last one I have um, 16 minus 10 is going to give me six. So this was a minus, this was a two, right? That's not a minus two. No, it's two minus nothing. So just say two. Okay, so now I can divide row three. Row three divided by two. That's going to give me that perfect setup here to solve the three equations and three unknowns. So zero, zero, one, three. There you go. Okay, so that's telling me that Z is equal to three. And again, because I have a solution here, this is going to be a point of intersection of the three lines. And I have Y is equal to minus two and X plus three y minus z is going to be equal to 3 and I'm going to plug these numbers in so plus 3 times minus 2 minus 3 is equal to 3 so this is minus 6 minus 9 bring them over here add 9 so x is going to be equal to what did I say I had minus 6 oh yeah y is minus 2 z is 3 so I have, this is supposed to come out to 6, minus 6, minus 3 is minus 9, plus 3 is 6. Okay, so there we go. So 6 minus 2, 3 is the point of intersection. And that's your lesson on matrices. And I hope, I hope that you take the time to figure these out because it will make your life really easy. And I will be using these when we do... Um, the next section, which is 9.4, and that will be equations of um, um, intersections of three planes. So if you started this lesson, you should probably have done the intersection of two planes first, just like the order that I have recorded them. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing, and have a great day.